Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. This week we're taking a look at two new flex sensors. Now I know you've seen flex sensors before, but you have not seen flex sensors like these. Let me introduce you to the Bend Labs digital flex sensors. Look at these babies wiggle. We have them in two flavors, single axis and dual axis. But what makes these next gen digital flex sensors so cool? Let's take a look. First of all, these four inch sensors are constructed using highly flexible, highly durable, medical grade silicone elastomers making them water and weather resistant. They offer an onboard bootloader and calibration with repeatability of 0.18 degrees. They both output I2C, making them a perfect fit with SparkFun's quick system, and even powering at 3.3 volts, both draw less than 250 microamps. And perhaps the coolest feature is that because they take a differential capacitance measurement, the result will not be skewed by strain, stretch, bending radius, or path. In technical terms, that basically means that the sensor output is the angular displacement as computed from the vectors defined by the ends of the sensor. Uh, check out the theory guide linked on the product page for a more in-depth, super nerdy explanation of their operation. So let's play. And before I start this brief demo, I just would like to say that I'm usually the first one to state our products are not intended for medical purposes, and I stand by that. However, that does not mean we can't have a little fun while we're learning. So a little background. About five years ago, I had a slight disagreement with a piece of sheet metal, and that disagreement ended with me severing a tendon on the back of my hand. I went to a gifted surgeon who sewed me back up and sent me to gifted physical therapists. And there, they would measure my progress every day. When I first started, I couldn't bend the finger at all, but every day I could bend it a little more, a little more, and they would measure it with basically two sticks on a pivot point with degree markings written on it, which is still the industry standard. You know, the same thing they used in the 15th century. However, I thought with this, I could update that methodology. So I've attached this to my hand and I can measure the degrees much more precisely. Now, as you can see, there's a bend in it. But remember the things I talked about angular displacement earlier? Well, because of that, it doesn't matter if there's a bend in it. As long as the leading edge and the trailing edge are at the same angle, this will measure at zero. So I've written a short Arduino script and this will measure how much I am bending. And it will tell me if I've reached a new high. Oh, look at that, a little further, a little further, a little further every day, until finally. And even though this flexor is being stretched and twisted a little bit, it doesn't matter. You're still getting accurate readings from it. It's kind of brilliant. You could even add a data logger and then share that information with your physical therapist. Now, there's a quick demo with the single axis version. And like I said, we also have the dual axis, twice as many axes, twice as cool. You could put that in a universal joint to measure flexion or bend there a million things to do with these. Pick yours up over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. I wish I was a bunny. I could just eat a piece of lettuce and people would watch me. <laughs> Introducing the Bend Labs, due to the Bend Labs, don't, digital flex sensors. Just look at these babies wiggle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna say that. What else? I think, I think that's it. I might say, I'll probably say that. <laughs>